na wa that uh, our that uh, definition was na tafsiri ya tatu ilikuwa ni to take his character kuchukua tabia yake for our own pattern uh, kwa mitindo yetu seeking the kingdom of god means kutafuta ufalme wa Mungu wa maanisha taking his character kuchukua tabia yake for our own pattern uh, kwa msururu wetu ama kwa mtindo wetu and i want to assure you my brothers my sister nataka niwahakikishe kaka zangu dada zangu it may sound so simple as you may listen to it yesaskika rahisi mno unaposikiza but as we progress by the grace of god lakini tunaposonga mbele kwa neema ya mungu he realize that it is only the committed people utagundua ni wale waliowajibika tu who will qualify for that watakao hitimu kwa hitimu kwa hiyo taking the character of god kuchukua tabia ya mungu as our own pattern kama mtindo wetu it is not simple si rahisi but i also let you to understand this lakini nataka uelewe hivi if we are going to take the character of Christ Jesus in us kama tutachukua tabia ya Kristo Yesu ndani yetu then we must also understand Kish, what is his character kisha tunafaa kufahamu tabia yake ni ipi you cannot take and take anything that you don't know Uwezi chukua usichokijua You cannot engage yourself in anything that you doesn't understand Uwezi jihusisha kwa mambo usio yafahamu And therefore for the service of time of service of teaching uh, Kwa hivyo kwa msururu wa mafunzo I shall let you understand Nitakufanya uelewe What the character of our Lord Jesus Christ is all about Tabia ya Kristo Bwana Yesu And you can open your bibles in the book of Galatian chapter number 5 and line number 16 Unaweza fungua Biblia yako katika Wagalatia 5 uh, aya ya 16 I wish you gonna give me the amplified version You see what it is all about Utaona inahusu nini And because of the matter of time let us just interpret Because you'll find some words are not in Kiswahili But I say bali nasema walk and live enendeni na muishi habishuare kitabia in the holy spirit kwa roho mtakatifu but i say lakini nasema this was a conversation haya yalikuwa ni mawasiliano between the church of galatia kati ya kanisa ya galatia and apostle paul na mtume paulo and he was there with an assignment alikuwa pale kwa kibarua and he discovered the problem they encountered akagundua shida waliokumbana nayo in chapter number 3 katika sura ya 3 in the spirit walianza kwa roho but they are ending in the flesh lakini wanamalizia kwa mwili they started with god walianza na mungu but how they are going lakini jinsi wanavyoenda they are heading in the long direction wanaelekea kubaya and as a result of paul knowing their problem na matokeo ya paulo kujua shida yao he came to this conclusion akafika hatma hii and he entered into a fellowship with this church akaingia kwa ushirika wa kanisa hili and he advised them akawashauri that they may walk ya kwamba watembee and they may live na waishi that these are two different ones haya ni maneno mawili tofauti you may walk in the spirit unaweza inenda kwa roho but you also need to understand lakini pia unafaa uelewe the kind of the spirit that you are walking in aina ya roho ambayo unatembea ndani yake hallelujah hallelujah there is so many spirits kuna roho aina nyingi that operate in the spirit world zinazo tekeleza katika nyanza za kiroho there is so many spirit kuna roho mingi that operate in the life of human beings zinazo tekeleza katika maisha ya mwanadamu but in this specific type type katika wakati huu Paul is so specific Paulo alikuwa special on the kind of the spirit that he is talking about kuhusiana na aina ya roho anayezungumzia he advises the church akashauri kanisa walk and live in the spirit enenda na uishi ndani ya roho let it be your habit wacha iwe ni tabia yako let it be your lifestyle wacha uwe ni mtindo wako wa maisha let it be your norm uwe ni kawaida wako that in, at any given moment uh, 
wote. You walk in the spirit. Unatembea ndani ya roho. And you live in the spirit. Na unaishi ndani ya roho. Because Paul understood the problem of this church. Kwa sababu Paulo alifahamu shida iliyoko. That at any given time. Ya kwamba wakati wote. They walked with the Lord. Walitembea na Bwana. They lived with the Lord. Wakaishi na Bwana. But as time progressed. Lakini wakati muda ulisonga. They decided to go back. Wakaamua kurukugaidi. That is the reason why Paul say. Ndio maana Paulo anasema. Who be wish to you? Nani aliyewaroga? The people of Galatia. Watu wa Galatia. You started in the spirit. Mlianza nani ya roho? But I am starting to conclude to you. Lakini natamaanza kuona that your ending is not well. Ya kwamba kuishi ya kwenu si kwema. Because you are ending in the flesh. Maana mwamalizia katika mwili. In other words, Paul was telling the church maneno mengine paulo alikuwa anaambia kanisa that whatever is born of the spirit totote kilichozaliwa ndani ya roho it is supposed to be taken care in the spirit tafaa kushughulikiwa ndani ya roho it's supposed to be grown in the spirit tafaa kukua ndani ya roho it is supposed to be fed in the spirit tafaa kulishwa ndani ya roho outside there inje hayo you went on the fresh ukaingia kwa mwili hallelujah hallelujah and we basically know na tujua hakika that the way of sin is death and this flesh that we call it it was gotten from the soil ulitoka kwa mavumbi and that is the reason why it disturbs you ndio maana wakusumbua that is the reason why it is a thorn to many ndio maana umesumbua wengi because the bible tells me kwa sababu biblia inaarifu that from the soil ya kwamba toka mavumbini shall we go back tutarudi they have already this body kwa hivyo njia ya mwili huu it is settled where it belongs unawekwa unapofaa hallelujah hallelujah and you from where it was gotten natoka ulitoka the power of the lord nguvu ya nchi the power of the soil nguvu ya mavumbi is still speaking to the patina unazungumzia hallelujah hallelujah it is all speaking to soil ni mtanga unazungumza na mtanga but i want to surprise you lakini nataka nikushangaze when paul was talking to the church paul alipokuwa anazungumza na kanisa walk and live ya kwamba enenda na uishi let it be your habit always to be led of the spirit because when god created man kwa sababu mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu the soul did not give breath to man mtanga haukumpa pumzi because it did not have that ability kwa sababu haikuwa na uwezo huo but after creation lakini baada ya umbaji god breathed his breath to man mungu akapumua pumzi yake kwa mwanadamu and i want you to understand nataka uelewe that soul is just a carrier of the spirit of god ya kwamba mtanga tu unabeba roho wa mungu hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. this soil is just a bus huyu hu mtanga tu ni basi but the driver is the spirit e, lakini dereva ni roho therefore it is your duty kwa hivyo ni jukumu lako never to allow mr soil usiruhusu huo haya mavumbi to control your spirit world e, yaongoze adhibiti roho yako it is your duty ni jukumu lako to read the spirit of god e, kuata roho wa mungu always to take the preeminent in your life atukue ukua madhibiti maisha yako it is not easy si rahisi because paul is telling the church kwa sababu paul anaambia kanisa make it your habit ifanye ni tabia yako i saw you niliwaona one day you defeated siku moja mlikengeuka but now i am advising you lakini sasa nawashauri let it be your habit wacha iwe ni tabia yako hallelujah hallelujah let it your habit wacha iwe tabia yako brethren let it be your habit let it be my habit what are you to be a yango that i shall walk ya kwamba nitaenenda i shall live nitaishi by the spirit of god kwa roho wa mungu and the bible continue to say biblia endelea kusema being responsive uh, mkiwa mnajibu to and controlled and guided by the spirit na kuongozwa na roho mtakatifu i want to bring to your attention nataka kukupa ufa kukupe taarifa that the spirit of god is alive ya kwamba roho wa mungu yu hai and he has got all the attribute of a man na na tabia zote za mwanadamu if you has got feeling kama una hisia he also have the feeling pia naye ana hisia if you can see kama waezaona also he can see pia naye yuaona 
It is only that he doesn't bear the human body. Ni vile tu hana mwili wa mwanadamu. And the spirit of God is shame. Na roho wa Mungu anasema. When you walk and live in the spirit. Unapoenenda na kuishi ndani ya roho. Then be responsive. Uwe unatibu roho. Always respond. Uwe kila wakati uwe unawadhibika. To the instruction of the spirit. Na uwe unatibu maagizo ya roho. Cause the Bible tells me. Kwa sababu Biblia inaelezea. That the word of God. Ya kwamba was put to the lighter uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit with the four distinct instructions uh, to guide kuongoza, to correct uh, to rebuke kukemea, and to encourage uh, na kupi, kupa ungu, kupa the, mo, the, every man kila mtu, who is led of the Spirit of God qualify for the four of for, for this for the issues anahitimu mambo haya manne but the spirit of god speaks lakini roho wa mungu huongea but how many time do you respond to the spirit of god ni mara ngapi wewe hujibu roho wa mungu anapozungumza you hear very clearly what the spirit of god is guiding you unasikia bayana anachozungumza but mr soil lakini huyu mavumbi ama mtanga oh, always take the preeminent yeye anachukua ukuu because uh, the fresh kwa sababu mwili if you are not very careful kama hutakuwa mwangalifu can suppress the spirit anaweza finya roho listen being sababu ni mr soil is where he belongs huyu mtanga yu mahali anapostahili and therefore when the spirit of god speaks kwa hivyo roho wa Mungu anapozungumza you are supposed to respond to it unafaa kujibu and also we are allowed to be controlled na pia turuhusu kudhibiti kudhibitiwa and to be guided by the spirit of god na kuongozwa na roho wa Mungu then you will certainly not e kisha hauta gratify the craving and the desires of this flesh hautakuwa na tamaa za mwili huu of human nature za mwanadamu without god bila mungu in other words kwa maneno mengine walk in the spirit and you never gratify the desires of the flesh enda katika enda katika roho na hautawahi kuwa na tamaa za mwili you can give me line number 22 of the same chapter aya 22 ya sura ile ile hallelujah hallelujah I love this. Napenda hii. I love umpe Kiswahili. Yeye yeah, umpe Kiswahili. Let me read from my Bible. Wagaratia 5. Wagaratia 5. 22. Nataka tuanzie tu hapo mstari wa But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love. Lakini tunda na roho ni upendo. And, and, and hold on, hold on. So my father. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lakini matokeo ya kuongozwa na roho ni upendo. Hapo tu. Matokeo ya kuongozwa si mwili. Let me just paraphrase it as it is. The consequences of being led by the spirit. Mato the results. Matokeo ya kuongozwa na roho is love ni upendo then we need to ask ourselves what is love upendo ni nini love is a character of god upendo ni tabia ya mungu if we are going to take the pattern of his character kama tutachukua mtindo wa tabia yake then i want you to understand that god is love kisha nataka uelewe ya kwamba Mungu ni upendo. And love is God. Na upendo ni Mungu. And I am going to show you in many scriptures. Nitakuonyesha kwa aya kadhaa. How this love behaves. Ha, e, jinsi huu upendo unavyofanya tabia ya huu upendo. Listen to this. Sikiza hili. That we can control. We can control the people we love and the people we don't love tunaweza dhibiti watu tunaowapenda na tusiowapenda because that is a character of a human being kwa sababu ni tabia ya mwanadamu we choose who to love 
and who not to love. Tunatagua tumpende yupi na yupi tusimpende. But I shall show you. Lakini takuonyesha. The danger of choosing. Hatari ya kutagua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Sikiza hili. That love is a matter of choice. Upendo ni uamzi wako. It is a matter of choice. Ni uamuzi. And because of how God loved the world. Na kwa sababu ya jinsi Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. He gave his only begotten son. Alipeana mwanawe wa pekee. Love is so generous. Upendo ni mkarimu mno. Love is not mean. Upendo si uchoyo. Love does not backbite one another. Upendo hausimangi. Love does not know hatred. Upendo hauna tuki. Love is not bright. Upendo hauna kiburi. Love always see. Upendo huona. I want you to understand. Nataka uelewe. That love. Ya kwamba upendo. Is the eye of God. Ni jicho la Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love is the eyes of God. Upendo ni macho ya Mungu. Whenever he is coming to visit man. Popote ajapo kumjilia mwanadamu. In the land of Eden. Katika bustani la Eden. Was coming because of because he loved man. Alikuja maana alimpenda mwanadamu. Love doesn't know any boundary. Upendo haujui mipaka. Love doesn't know any 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 burden. Upendo haujui mzigo wote. Love cannot be hindered. Upendo hauwezi zuli zuirika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore every man who walk in the spirit of God. Kwa hivyo kila mwanadamu anatembea katika roho ya Mungu. He is walking by God himself. Anatembea and he has become the eyes of God. And that man is unstoppable. Uh, hallelujah. 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 You can give me the first letter of John 3:18. Love is an action. Upendo ni just before that give me Colossians 3:14. Colossians 3:14. Just interpret my sister. Give me from uh, give me from the new living transition. Above all, Zaidi yote, clothe yourself with love. Mutivishe mavazi upendo. I want to give an illustration. Nataka kupeana mfano. That will forever ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, help you. Ambao utakusaidia. I am taking out my coat. Natoa koti langu. Now. Sasa. Paul is talking to the church in Colossae. Uh, Paulo anazungumza na kanisa na Colossae. And he is telling the church. Anaambia kanisa. Above all. Zaidi ya yote. In the midst of so many other things. Miongoni mwa mambo mengine yote. You choose this one. Mnatagua hili. You choose Mr. Love. Mnatugua upendo bwana upendo. Says, Biblia sema. You crop yourself with the love. Mudivike upendo. What are the significance of growth? It hides our nakedness. It also gives warmth. It also is spoken the squeezy kitambo. Tuko tunajua hizi ni za wanaume na hizi ni wa kike. Hiyo ni yako. Hiyo haiko kwa Biblia. Hiyo ni yako. Saki nipigwe na mawe. Naomba nisipigwe na mawe. Therefore, kwa hiyo, when Paul was telling the church, wakati kanisa alikuwa anaambia kanisa, Paul alikuwa anaambia kanisa, to crow themselves, kuvaa with love. Kujivika upendo. In other words, he was telling them, maneno mengine alikuwa anawaambia, without love, bila upendo, you don't have spiritual warmth. Hauna joto la kiroho. Without warmth, you are uncovered. Wewe hujafunikwa. You don't have any protection. Hauna ulinzi wowote. You are vulnerable. Wewe uko katika hatari. To expose your nakedness. Kuanika uti wako. And ever Paul was urging the church. Kwa hivyo Paul alikuwa anaambia kanisa. Crop yourself with love. Divikeni na upendo. Which bind us all. Amba unatufunganisha sisi wote. Which bind us all together. Unao tuleta pamoja. 
in perfect harmony. Katika umoja ukamilifu. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, the backbone of Christianity is based on love. Ukristo msingi wa Ukristo ni upendo. Because it is out of love. Ni kwa sababu ni kutokana na upendo. Me and you we are born again. Mie nawe tumezaliwa upya. It is out of love. Ni kutokana na upendo. We have hope in Christ Jesus. Tunatumaini ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Without love. Bila upendo. We were entitled to pay our sin. Tulikuwa tulipe dhambi zetu. The penalty of our sin. Eh tulipe kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu. But out of love lakini kwa sababu ya upendo we have hope in god tunalo tumaini ndani ya mungu hallelujah hallelujah in first john 3:18 katika yohana wa kwanza 3:18 the bible says biblia sema shall show you something that will marvel you nitakuonyesha kitu kitakachokufanya upigwe na butoa and i shall show you where many christians are getting lost nitakuonyesha mahali wakristo wengi wanapotelea dear children let not merely say that we love each other let us show the truth by our action love has got deeds because love is a life a life hallelujah love always act upendo hutenda it is out of love i assisted my sister ni kutokana na upendo nilimsaidia it is out of love god gave his son to us to redeem us back ni kutokana na upendo mungu kapeana mwanao wa pekee kutukomboa it is out of love ni kutokana kwa upendo the widows uh, uh, went to peter wajane wakamwendea petro looking on the solution of Dorcas. Wakitafuta suluhisho la Dorcasi. It is out of love. Ni kutokana na upendo. We stay together. Tunaishi pamoja. It is out of love. Ni kwa upendo. We help one another. Tunasaidiana. It is out of love. Ni kutokana na upendo. We stay in fellowship. Tunakaa katika ushirika. And the Bible says, Na Biblia sema, Let your love. Wacha upendo wako. No don't be full of mere words. Na usijae tu maneno pekee. Let it not just be a mere word. But let your love. Lakini wacha upendo wako. We receive the love of God. Ufanane uige upendo wa Mungu. That out of love. La kutokana na upendo. He acted on our behalf. Akatenda kwa niaba yetu. Hallelujah. 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 Out of love. Kutokana na upendo. You give me first John 4:16 and 17. Nipe Yohana wa kwanza 4:16 na 17. So that I can show you. Ili nikuonyeshe. That love ya kwamba upendo has got life in it unao hai ndani yake the bible says biblia sema we know how much god loves the last loved us twajue jinsi mungu anavyotupenda and we have put our trust in him na tumeweka tumaini letu kwake god is love mungu ni upendo and all who live in him love na wote wanaoishi kwa upendo love in god wanaishi ndani ya mungu and god lives in them na mungu anaishi ndani yao there makes the difference hayo yaleta tofauti i am speaking to a man ndazungumza na mtu who cannot speak to the neighbor ambaye hawezi kuzungumza na jirani i'm speaking to a man ndazungumza na mtu who cannot greet a brother hawezi salimia kaka yake i'm talking to a man ndazungumza na mtu who cannot talk to the parent I'm talking to a man who cannot speak to the wife. I'm talking to a lady who cannot speak to a neighbor. Just because they differed about the 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 in the Ugandan kamba ya guo. Kwa sababu wadi tofauti yana kwa sababu kwa hizi dia kamba kwa nikiangguo. I am talking to a lady. Nazungumza na dada. It is you who is listening to me. I'm talking to. Because in one or the way kwa sababu kwa njia moja au nyingine you had a difference ulikuwa na utofauti the bible says biblia sema that god is love na kwamba mungu ni upendo and all who live in love wote wanaoishi ndani ya upendo live in god wanaishi ndani ya mungu therefore as much as we may say love is choice a choice hata kama tunasema upendo ni uamuzi then we are only limited to that tuko pale tu to love god kumpenda mungu because god is love kwa sababu mungu ni upendo and we desire to live 
in him we must become love Lazima because upendo. love money love Kwa sababu upendo, oh, upendo. hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, love stays together upendo waishi pamoja. God is love Mungu ni upendo. and once we abide in him uh, muradi tutu and we abide in his love Na upendo wake. then we have an assurance uh, kwa hivyo to dwell in him Kuhishi and him to dwell in us. Therefore, if you have hatred in your heart, then I can disqualify you. That is me. Because it is the Bible that God stays where there is love. And God is love. Hallelujah. And line number 17. Hallelujah. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. Therefore, what defines the measure of growth of love in you? Or what defines Ama kile How far love will grow in you? Umbali upendo utakaokuwa ndani yako. Is your relationship with your maker? Ni uhusiano wako na muumba wako. Because love can only grow in God. Kwa sababu upendo utakuwa tu ndani ya Mungu. I am not talking about the, the, the storage of loss and fear. Love. No, hizo, hizo. Hizo zote. No, the natural affection, the sexual attraction, emotional affection, or friendship. I'm talking about the agape love of God. And there are so many grounds that men provide. But the only ground that allow love to grow Lakini athi inayoruhusu upendo kukua It is the ground of the fear of God in your life Ni athi ya kumta Mungu maishani mwako Hallelujah Hallelujah The ground of the fear of God Athi ya kumta Mungu Listen to this Sikiza hili I'm going to give you five points Nitakupa alama tano that will help you to learn on how to love. Kujifunza jinsi ya kupenda. Number one. Ya kwanza. Experience God's love in your life. Kuhisi upendo wa Mungu maisha ni mwako. You experience the love of God. Unahisi upendo wa Mungu. How can we experience this love? Tunaweza hisi vipi upendo huu? By only accepting him. Kwa kumkubali tu. By only dwelling and living and walking in the spirit. By only crucifying the self in us. You can give me Ephesians chapter number 3, line number 17 and 18. We must understand how the love of God is all about. The Bible says, give me line number 16. Start from 16. Look here. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resource, he will empower you with the inner strength through his spirit. Naomba kutokana na rasilimali zake za utukufu atakupa nguvu na nguvu ndani ya roho. This is very powerful. Hii ni nguvu sana. If this was a very special prayer. Haya yalikuwa ni maombi special. Paul was making to the church in pa- Ephesus. Alikuwa anaombea kanisa la Ephesus. And he prayed with the Father. Akamsihi baba that through his glorious Unlimited resources. He will empower you. He will empower me. He will empower us. Uh, with inner strength. Because what is affected in 
our life. It's not the physical. Si asli. It is spiritual. Ni roho. And Paul put it categorical. Na Mungu akaweka na Paulo akaweka katika kitengo. That you are in a person. Ya kwamba mtu wako wa ndani. May be strengthened. Akatiwe nguvu. Through the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Kupitia kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu. You cannot receive that strength. Hauwezi pokea hiyo nguvu. Outside the power of God. Nje ya nguvu za Mungu. We get physical strength. Tunapata nguvu asili. When we eat tunapokula we get physical strength tunapata nguvu za mwili when we are encouraged uh, tuna, uh, when we are encouraged tuna wakati tumetiwa moyo but we can only get in a strength lakini tutapata tu nguvu za ndani through the power of the holy spirit of god kupitia kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu wa mungu in line number 17 the bible says na aya 17 biblia sema then christ kisha kristo once my brother my sister you gain that strength muradi tu mama punda tu umepata hiyo nguvu once your heart is overcome by love punde mama moyo wako umedawa na upendo the agape love of god uh, upendo wa agape wa mungu the bible says biblia sema then christ will make his home in your heart kisha kristo atafanya makao yake ndani ya moyo wako as you trust in him unapomtumai he will mm. make you are in a person atafanya mtu wako ndani his own throne uh, maenzi yake where he can delegate his duties wakati anapotekelezea majukumu yake whereby he can guide mahali anapoweza kuongozea whereby he can make a home mahali anaweza fanya makao and the conditions are very simple uh, na masharti ni mepesi when you put your trust in him ukiweka tumaini lako kwake because david said in psalms kwa sababu daudi alisema katika zaburi that some put their trust wengine wanaweka tumaini lao upon the horses juu ya magari ya mafarasi and other upon chariots na wengine juu ya magari but myself lakini mi i put my trust in the lord nitaweka tumaini langu kwa bwana he was answering psalms i didn't uh, i think 125 or so ani zaburi 100 hapo juu na hapo juu when he said aliposema i looked upon the mountains nalitazama milimani my help did not come there from there o msaada wangu haukutoka pale i looked upon my correct kings nalitazama wenzangu my help was not there o msaada wangu haukuwa pale i looked upon my possession nalitazama mali yangu my help was not there o msaada wangu haukuwepo i looked upon horses and chariots nalitazama My help was not there. Msaada wangu haukuwepo. When I looked upon the Lord. Lakini nalipomtazama Bwana. When I looked upon the Lord. Nalipomtazama Bwana. There my help came. Msaada wangu ukapatikana. What was impossible to me? Kilichokuwa hakiwezekani kwangu. I discovered the secret. Nikagundua siri. That it is not about my strength. Ya kwamba sikuhusu nguvu zangu. It is not about my position. Na sio nafasi yangu. It is not about the I know. Na sio watu na wajua. It is not about my status. Sio kuhusu hali yangu. I discovered. Kagundua. My help. Msaada wangu. Can only come from the Lord. Waweza toka tu kwa Bwana. I have come to prophesy over your life. Nimekuja kutabiria maisha yako. You have struggled for long. Umengangana kwa muda. Because you know men. Kwa sababu wajua watu. Because you have papers. Una makaratasi. Because you have position. Kwa sababu una nafasi. That is a long perception. Huwa ni mtazamo mbaya. Incline your eye unto the Lord. Jibaya kama to yako kwa Bwana. Forget who you know. Sahau naye mjua. Forget the self in you. Sahau wewe. Forget the promises men has given you. Sahau ahadi watu waliokuwa hivi. But learn to focus unto the Lord. Lakini jifunze kumtazamia Bwana. Learn to give him your heart as his own habitation. Jifunze kumpea moyo wako kama makao yake. Learn to trust in him. Jifunze kumtumai. And the Bible says, Na Biblia sema, When you reach to that point, Ukifika mahali pale, Your root will grow. Eh, mizizi yako itanawili. Down into God's love. Pale tikirindini kwa wewe, upendo wa Mungu. And this root will keep you strong. Na huyu mzizi utakutia nguvu. The deeper the root. Eh, uh, 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 mizizi ikienda kirindini. The stronger the 
Eta wate. Mute. Thank you because of saving me. <laughs> the stronger the stem. Uh, uh, the deeper the root. Uh, the stronger the stem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once we give Christ our heart. Once he makes our heart his own habitation. And we put trust in him. The Bible says this seed of love in us shall grow down into God's love. Hallelujah. I want to give an stack Arizona and pick a coffee. Stack Arizona and go get coffee. Once I stay closer to this young girl. And once I put my trust in her. My love for her. Shall grow down and down and down. And George will deep rooted in her. Hallelujah. You cannot uproot me in her. You cannot uproot her in me. Because as we continue to grow, our love for one another, minute after minute, hour after hour, when I put my trust in her, in her only, my love for her will grow deep and deep and deep. Upendo wangu kwake utaenda kilindini na kilindini na kilindini. And when you shall cut me. Na utakapo nipasua. You will only see Elizabeth. Utaona Elizabeth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The tiba is all about Elizabeth. <laughs> the tiba is all about Elizabeth. Et de? Bao. Bao. Ni it's itakua. all about Elizabeth. Ita muhusu tu Elizabeth. The bat. The, the bat. Magoko. Magoko. <laughs> The branches, Matawi. the leaves, eh, majani. the fruit, Matunda. the, the roots, eh, mizizi. the flowers, eh, maua. every content there. Kila chote pale. Ooh, it's eh, all about Elizabeth. Yote Hallelujah! Hey. That is how we are supposed to grow in the Lord. And keeps you strong. Time, time, time. Tuede hapo shini kiasi. And may you have the power to understand. As all God's people should. Therefore all of you you have qualified. To understand God's power. How wide. How long. How high. And how deep. His love is all about. Upendo wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those are hard gospels. Hiyo ni inzidi ngumu kali. Praise be to the name of the living God. Hallelujah. You can only know and understand who God is. Unaeza jua tu na kuelewa mungu ni nani. When you follow those instructions. Ukifuata hayo maagizo. I want to tell you. That love has got characteristics. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. I'm talking to you. Because you are the, God, the, the, the people of God. We always say that we love one another. But we cannot love one another. Lakini hatuwezi pendana. You cannot see each other. Ha, hatuwezi. You cannot see each other. Ha, we, hatuwezi onana. And you say that you love God. Na unasema tunampenda mungu. Then there is a question mark. Kuna soadi. There is a question mark. Kuna alama ya kiulizo. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of ages. Kama ningeweza kuzungumza luha zote duniani na za malaika. But I didn't love others. Lakini, but I did, not, I did not love others. Lakini siku wapenda wengine. I would only be a noisy gong 
Ola kring ring sheba. Ningekuwa tu napiga kelele au unatoa kengele, napiga kelele. Just put your heart down. How many has the scripture talked to? Ni wangapi maandishi yamezungumzia? It is not George who have written that. Sio George ambaye ameandika hayo. Even though you may speak with all tongues and with all angelic language. Hata kama utazungumza na lugha zote za duniani na za malaika. And you don't have the love of God. Na hauna upendo wa Mungu. Then you are just making noise. Unafanya kelele tu. And God is lighting you as a noise maker. Na Mungu anakufanya wewe anakuandika kama mpiga kelele. And there is a punishment for the noise maker. Na, na kuna adhabu ya wapiga kelele. There is a monto. I don't know what you are doing in your own school. <laughs> kuna monto. There are who are calling Askal Kuna watu walikuwa wanabeba mkamfupa fulani Sisi tulikuwa tunangoreshwa viziki To continue If I had the gift of prophecy Kama nina karama ya unabii And if I understood all of God's sacred plans and possessed all knowledge na nikaelewa asili zote asili zote na mambo yote alionao Mungu and if i had such a faith that i could move mountains na hata kama nina imani inayoweza kusongesha milima but didn't love others lakini sikuwapenda wengine i would be nothing ningekuwa ni bure 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 i wish mwai angekuwa hapa the former president yeye alikuwa anajua kuisema vizuri bure that is the bible We continue. Then next line. And if I give everything I have to the poor and even sacrifice my body. Hata kama nilipeana yote nilokuwa nayo kwa maskini na nikajitoa mwili wangu kama dhabihu. I could boss about it. Na ningeringa kuhusu. But if I didn't love others. Lakini kama singewapenda wengine. I would have gained nothing singepata chochote i could have gained nothing singepata chochote love these are characteristics ha, ha, hizi ndizo tabia za upendo i want you to get yourself with this line nataka ujihusishe na 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 aya hii love is patient upendo huvumilia love is kind upendo hufadhili love is not jealous upendo hauhusudu it is not boastful upendo hautivuni it is not proud au hautakabari or, or, or being lewd ama hautibu bila adabu and it does not demand its own way hautitishinjia zake mwenyewe it is not irritable hauna uchungu irritable irritable whichever and it keeps no record of being long Haweki rekodi ya kufanyiwa mabaya. Weka mikono yako juu. How many has got records of the people who long to you? Sinue mkono juu. Sinue mkono juu. I cannot take talk to so and so that is a, a record of the long deeds. I cannot talk to somebody because tulisoshana kwa shama that is the record of the long deeds. Hiyo ni rekodi ya mambo mabaya. Disqualify yourself with the word of God. Ujitenganishe na neno la Mungu. You disqualify yourself. Unajitoa. Not this. Na ushike hili. How else you can learn how to love? E, jinsi unavyojifunza kupenda. Forgive your enemies. Wasamehe maadui wako. How many times? Ni mara ngapi? 70 times 70. E, mara e, sabini, mara saba. Unless that person is is manned. Isipokuwa tu huyo mtu ni wazimu. I don't think whether there's a person who can do you such kind of longs. Sijui kama kuna mtu anaweza kutendea mabaya mara hayo yote. Colossians 3 that yes. Listen to this. Sikiza hili. Make allowance for each other's fault. Kuwa na nafasi ya fault makosa ya wale wengine. And look here. I love the Lord. Nampenda Bwana. I fear the Lord. Namcha Mungu. But I also need to create a room for you. Lakini pia lazima nitafute nafasi yako. In my heart. Moyoni mwangu. For the faults. For the faults. Makosa. Kwa makosa. That you can do to me. Ambayo unaweza nifanyia. How many can do that? Ni wangapi wanaweza fanya hayo? We always live fake. We don't have that. 
Sisi hudipisha kisasi hatuna hayo. And forgive one who offends you. Na usamehe anayekukwaza. Remember the Lord forgive you. Kumbuka Bwana alikusamehe. Therefore you must forgive others. Kwa hiyo lazima usamehe wengine. You don't have any option. Hauna lolote lingine. You are therefore supposed to forgive others. Unafaa kuwasamehe wengine. Therefore we need to forgive one another. Kwa hiyo tafaa kusameheana. We are not supposed to have a resentful heart. Hatufai kuwa na moyo ambao hausamehi. But we are supposed to uh, to forgive unconditionally. Lakini tunafaa kusamehe bila masharti. Instead of rehearsing the hearts over and over we release it. Badala ya kuweka moyoni tunaachilia. Also another point is that we need to think loving thoughts. Uh, uh, na mengine ni ya kwamba tunafaa kuwa na mawazo ya kupenda. Uh, Philippian 2:4 to 5. Wa Filipi 4. Philippian 2. Wa Filipi 2:4 hadi 5. This means we begin to focus on others people's needs. Inamaanisha tunafaa kuangalia mahitaji ya wengine. Hearts and problem and desires. Uh, moyo na shida na shauku. And goals na malengo not just our own na sio yetu tu when we shift the way we think tunapobadilisha jinsi tunavyofikiria about others kwa kuwa wengine we will gradually change our feelings tutabadilisha hisia zetu about the other person kuhusu huyo mwingine do not look out only for your own interest usijifikirie wewe tu mwenyewe but take an interest in others too lakini pia wengine Line number five. Ya tano. You must have the same attitude as that Christ Jesus had. Lazima uwe na nia aliyekuwa nayo Kristo Yesu. When you take the burden of others. Ukichukua mizigo ya wengine. You start owning up the attitude of our Lord Jesus Christ. Una unaanza kuchukua nia ya Kristo Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then we must also act in love. Lazima tutende kwa upendo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you give me Luke 6:27 to 28? Luka 27 na 28. The Bible says. Biblia sema. But to you who are willing to listen. Lakini kwenu nyinyi mnaotamani kusikiza. To the person who is willing to listen. Kwa yule mtu anayetaka kusikiza. I say. Nasema. Love your enemies. Wapende maadui zako. How many will promise me today? that they will love their enemies niwa, lift up your heart ni wangapi wataniahidi leo watapenda adui zao nyosha mkono wako juu lift up your heart nyosha mkono wako juu this tells me you has got so many enemies <laughs> ili naniambia una maadui wengi sana muga fikiria swali yengine ikifuata na hapo mbele but anyway it is good to admit that Therefore, kwa hiyo I said you as the ambassadors of redeemed Makogen. Na watuma kama mabarozi wa redeemed gospel Makongeni. Go and love them. Nendeni muwapende. Go and do them good. Nendeni muwatende mema. Those who hate you. Wanao watukia. It is not easy. Si rahisi. How can you love somebody who have destroyed your family? Unaezaje mpenda mtu aliangamiza jamii yako? How can you love somebody who has become a death to your family? Unaweza fanyika au unaweza pendaje mtu ambaye amekuwa kikwazo kwa jamii yako? How can you bless such a kind of a person? Unaezaje mbariki? It is unless or until you be in Christ. Isipokuwa tu undani ya Kristo. And then also you engage heaven. Na pia uhusishe bingu. To bring out that death from you kutoa hiyo deni kwako the bible has not specified biblia haija haijaweka specially the kind of the enemies that we have in life aina ya maadui tuliyo nao maishani how can you love somebody who have grabbed you lord unaezaje mpenda mtu aliyekupokonya shamba how can you love somebody who stole who stole, who stole your car Utampendaje mtu aliyeiba gari lako? How can you love somebody who destroyed the future of your young girls? Uh, utampendaje mtu aliyeharibu hatma ya binti zako? Uh, uh, they 
war in the categories of enemies. And therefore they qualify to be pressed. It is not easy. Unless the grace is sufficient. We love them and bless them. Bless those who curse you. Wabariki wanao kulaani. And pray for those who hurt you. Na waombe wanao kujeruhi. I sent you as my ambassadors. Na watuma kama mabelezi wangu. Go and bless your enemies. Nendeni mko wabariki madu iwenu. Go and do good to your enemies. Nendeni mko watende madu iwenu mema. Bless those who curse you. Wabariki wanao kulaani. And pray for those who have hurted you. Na waombe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the purification of a mature Christians. Uh, ni, ni, la ambaye amekoma. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How, God help us. Mungu God give these people grace. Mungu wape watu hawa neema. God remember this dear ones. Mungu kumbuka hawa wapendwa. It is not easy. Si rahisi. But it is possible. Lakini yawezekana. Finally expect the best. Hatimaye tarajia iliyo mema, iliyo bora. Pastor Ian that in 7. Wa Korintho wa kwanza 13:7. Love never gives up. Upendo haukomi. Are you praying for a nagging neighbor, a neighbor who has got a, who has become a thorn to you? You are just feeling like you can't locate. Every particular morning you wake up. Kila wakati unapoamka. You fight this neighbor who always curse you. Unapata huyo jirani anayekulaani kila wakati. You press that neighbor. Unambariki. You pray for that neighbor. Unamwombea. You do good to that neighbor. Unamtendea mema. Because love never gives up. Kwa sababu upendo haupungukani. I want to encourage you brothers and sisters. Nataka kuwapatia moyo kaka zangu. Don't grow up in the area praying to for that person. Usikome ama uzimie kumwombea. Never lose faith. Usitupe imani. Always have hope. Kila wakati kuwa na tumaini. And endure through every circumstance. Na uvumilie kila hali. And endurance is not easy. Si rahisi. It's not easy. Si rahisi. But I want to let you understand where the problem is. To the people of God. We are living by grace. We are in the dispensation of the grace of God. And also people who are spirit filled. Amen. Amina. As I come to the end. We are living by the grace. We are also living in the spirit. And we have ignored the law. First, uh, the book of Galatians. I want nine people here. Haraka haraka please. Men. Watuti wanaume tisa. Men Kim 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 uh, Mulwa Omodi please. Uh Nzioka please come. I need nine of them. Wanaume uh, tisa. Brother Kira please come over. I need nine. I need nine nine. Kujen hapa. I want to illustrate something that you'll never forget. Nataka kukuonyesha kitu ambacho hautasahau. And I shall show you where people of God are messing up. We need two more. Pastor Bolo, please come over. I need another one more. Taka mwingine mmoja. Brother Jugo nakuja. Nataka mushikane. Ivo, Ivo, Ivo. 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 Those people are in unity. Is that true? Those people, if they decide to do anything, they can do it together. These people, are the, are, they are under the law of unity. They are under the grace of unity. And they are in the spirit of unity. The Bible says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. I have love. There is joy. There is peace. There is patience. There is kindness. There is goodness. There is faithfulness. There is 
gentleness Kuna upole. and self control na kiasi Hebu someni hapo mwisho Have you qualified so that you can be above the law This one as they are united there is no law against them Hawa wakiwa wameunganika pamoja hamna sheria yoyote dhidi yao Because it is the fruit Kwa sababu ni tunda One nataka Stay like that When one character of God misses in your life Tabia. then you are at the law Tabia moja ikikosekana ya Mungu maishani mwako haya basi uko katika chini ya sheria. When one attribute one character of him. Tabia moja tu yake. Then you are the law. Uko chini ya sheria. If you don't love your neighbor you are the law. Kama haumpendi jirani yako uko chini ya sheria. If you don't do good you are at the law. Kama hutendi mema uko chini ya sheria. If you don't have self control you are at the law. Kama hauna kiasi chini ya sheria. If you don't have you, if you're not kind you are at the law. Kama hauna fadhili chini ya sheria. If you, you you are not gentle you are at the law. Kama wewe si mpole chini ya sheria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says. Biblia sema in this there's no law. Kwa haya hamna sheria. And when they are together. Na wakiwa pamoja. Then there is no law. Hakuna sheria. When one misses wakati mmoja inakosa there is law. kuna sheria never forget that usiwai any other person who is at the law na kila mtu aliye chini ya sheria need the grace of god anahitaji neema ya mungu need the spirit of god anahitaji roho ya mungu let us pray tuombe our father in jesus mighty name baba yetu kwa jina kula yesu we have been subjected at the law tumekuwa kwa chini ya sheria because we are weak in one way or the other kwa sababu tu dhaifu kwa njia moja how we pray with you jehovah god tunavyo kusihi that you may dispense your grace on in our life so that we can learn how to love how to be kind how to be gentle and how to be more like you i give you glory and i give you honor in jesus